Artificial intelligence is getting much more powerful, much faster than we could have imagined. Clips like this one used to take weeks to make, but now they can be generated in near real time. These massive breakthroughs go way past ChatGPT, and we need to talk about them today because we can invest in them today. Your time is valuable, so let's get right into it. I see through your darkness now. I see through your lies. I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you probably know that I think it's important to understand the science behind the stocks. Being able to tell the difference between disruptors and the companies being disrupted can give you a huge advantage as an investor. And that's even more important now, since generative AI seems to be evolving faster than any other technology in history. But instead of just focusing on ChatGPT or MidJourney, I want to show you a few big advancements that will affect the markets that you already care about, and maybe even invest in. A few weeks ago at the 2023 Game Developers Conference, Epic Games showed off a ton of tools for Unreal Engine that are going to blow the doors off of 3D graphics. When most people hear 3D graphics, they think of video games, but in reality, 3D graphics are used almost everywhere, including architecture, industrial planning, automotive, and product design. So when companies like Epic Games, Unity Software, Adobe, Autodesk, and even Nvidia start coming out with tools that use generative AI to build 3D models, they're going to have a massive impact, even outside of entertainment. So keep that in mind as I walk you through everything you're about to see. Let's start with simulating people, which is no easy task. Unreal has a tool called the MetaHuman Creator, which lets people generate feature-rich, high-quality characters. But there's a problem. You've probably heard of the uncanny valley, which is the strange, unsettling feeling that some people get when they see something that looks almost human, but isn't quite right. We can already generate photorealistic still images that cross the uncanny valley, but characters in movies and video games are much harder, since their movements and expressions need to be equally believable. That's why studios use expensive motion capture equipment to collect tons of data that can take months to process. That is, until now. Hey, and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. Cut. Thanks, Mel. That was great. Yeah, you're welcome. OK. Our technician, John, is currently pulling Mel's performance from the phone onto his machine, where everything will be processed locally. John, are we all good with the data? Awesome. So from now on, it's just a single button click to kick off the processing, which for a performance of this length will take less than a minute to convert into animation. So from only three frames of video and that data, we can generate a rig that predicts all of your facial expressions in just a couple of minutes. Wow. And do you only need to do this once for each actor? Yes, that's right. It calibrates the solver to your face so that we can produce the performance in, in, a, in a way that faithfully reproduces your original performance. This takes only a few seconds. And then John needs to drop it in the level and add the audio so that we can see the result. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. And sometimes, all I need is a look. Thank you. So, Mel, what do you think? I think it's incredible because it usually takes months between performance capture and getting any results back, so this is blowing my mind. <laughs> These technologies are completely redefining our creative process. As they will redefine yours, when we release MetaHuman Animator to everyone in just a couple of months. So instead of specialized motion capture equipment, Unreal Engine's MetaHuman Animator only needs an iPhone. And instead of taking months to process that motion data on a server, it can be done on a single desktop using the latest CPU and GPU hardware from AMD. It's important for investors to understand that this isn't one giant leap in one single technology. Innovations in computer vision let Unreal software capture an actor's facial structure using just three frames of video, left, right, and center. Innovations in data compression and processing techniques allow these animation calculations to happen in parallel chunks instead of one at a time. 
And of course, huge advancements in CPUs and GPUs from companies like Nvidia, AMD, and Intel are making everything smaller and faster along the way. These innovations will unlock trillions of dollars in combined enterprise value across every industry over the next decade. Almost every service can benefit from personalized digital assistants, co-pilots, teachers, trainers, and therapists. Avatars can be made for business applications ranging from fashion and retail to advertising and marketing. Or what about using more realistic humans in simulations, like the kinds that Tesla makes to help them train their full self-driving computers when they don't have enough real data for a specific scenario? Hopefully, you're starting to get a sense of the massive amount of value that's about to get unlocked for every industry because of these innovations in graphics, motion capture, and data processing. By the way, if you're looking for a great app to buy the stocks benefiting from this AI boom, check out Moomoo. Their analysis tab shows you everything you need to know, including short interest, how the stock's valuation compares to its peers, which institutions are buying and selling it, analyst ratings and their target prices, and how they've changed over time. Right now, Moomoo is giving away up to 15 free stocks, each valued at up to $2,000. All you have to do is sign up with my link and keep your account above $1,000 for at least 60 days to claim your 15 free stocks. And they're holding a paper trading competition right now, where the winners can get up to $1,500 in cash coupons. And if you make just one paper trade this month, you'll get a one-month free trial of Benzinga Pro. That's a nice bonus. This is a limited time offer, so go download the app using my link in the description below today. All right, realistic human avatars are just one piece of the puzzle. There's a whole nother set of innovations when it comes to generating 3D environments at scale. Unreal Engine has experimental tools that can procedurally generate massive and complex environments in near real time. So we're gonna drive under this fallen tree here, and everything that you've seen up to this point was painstakingly hand-built by the environment team at Quixel. Everything since that fallen tree has been built using our brand new experimental suite of procedural content generation tools. So Jacob's gonna go ahead and add a procedural assembly to the world. And the cool thing is that it communicates with other nearby procedural elements in the scene, like the creek bed. So let's say a designer comes by, wants to direct the player to drive to the left. Jacob can simply move the assembly to the right and everything updates to accommodate that change. Game design is iterative, so let's say the designer comes back, wants to give the player the choice of going left or right again, Jacob can simply move the assembly back over. Now the artist who created this assembly also added some additional handles that Jacob can use to art direct where rock slides occur. Allows him to customize the piece a little bit more, make it a little easier for the Rivian to drive by. So we started by handcrafting that original part of the level to set the visuals and art direction for the entire piece, and then built out procedural tools that allowed the team to create a much larger play space much more quickly. Now let's see how we can use these procedural tools to make larger sweeping changes to the environment. Let's also add in some cliff formations, give it a little bit more variability. Once he finds a set that he likes, he can always go back to it and get out exactly the same result. And the procedural systems aren't just placing trees and rocks, but also fog cards, bugs, birds, everything that's needed to bring this environment to life. And everything that you've seen here works at scale. This environment is four kilometers by four kilometers. If we hide all of the procedural elements, we can see that original hand-built area about 200 meters by 200 meters. We believe that there will always be the need for hand-building environments, so we design these procedural systems to be tools for artists that work in concert with hand-built content. And everything you've seen here is running in the Unreal Editor in real time on a developer machine with an Intel 13900K CPU and NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPU. So the artists hand-built a 200 by 200 meter area and then used that to seed a generation for a four by four kilometer area. That means they only had to handcraft a quarter of 1% of this map. And we're not just talking about generating trees and rocks, but all the tiny elements like bugs and birds to make the environment feel lifelike at every scale. And again, this all happened in near real time on a single desktop PC. By the way, the latest versions of Unreal Engine support environments of around 9,300 square kilometers. That's about three times the area of Rhode Island or about seven and a half times the area of New York City. So imagine handcrafting a few city blocks with these tools and then generating an entire metropolis. But wait, there's more. 
Even though Unreal Engine is incredible, Epic Games is just one of the many great companies that are building generative tools like these. Adobe is blowing the doors off of graphic design and video editing with Adobe Firefly, which is bringing generative AI to stock photography, image and video editing, product design, and so on. Unity Software powers more than half of all mobile games in the world and over 60% of all augmented and virtual reality experiences. They're coming out with a generative AI marketplace where people can build and sell 3D assets, animations, and other game elements. Runway ML has tools to edit videos using nothing but text, and now they're able to generate those videos using nothing but text as well. But as cool as these platforms are, there's one that I think will dwarf the rest, and that's NVIDIA's Omniverse, which is designed to connect every other platform together. This is huge. The world's largest industries make physical things, but they want to build them digitally. Omniverse is a platform for industrial digitalization that bridges digital and physical. It features generative AI to accelerate the creation of virtual worlds, and Omniverse can manage data sets of enormous scale. Omniverse is not a tool, but a fabric connecting to design tools used across industries. Omniverse can unify the end-to-end -end workflow and digitalize the $3 trillion, 14 million employee automotive industry. Each connection links the ecosystem of one platform to the ecosystems of all the others. Omniverse's network of networks is growing exponentially. Bentley Systems Lumen RT is now connected. Volvo Cars and GM use Omniverse USD Composer to connect and unify their asset pipelines. GM connects designers, sculptors, and artists using Alias, Siemens NX, Unreal, Maya, 3DX Max, and virtually assembles the components into a digital twin of the car. Engineers use DriveSim in Omniverse to generate synthetic data to train AI models, validate the active safety system against a virtual NCAP driving test, and simulate real driving scenarios. Omniverse's generative AI reconstructs previously driven routes into 3D, so past experiences can be reenacted or modified. Working with IdealWorks, BMW uses Isaac Sim in Omniverse to generate synthetic data and scenarios to train factory robots. Lotus is using Omniverse to virtually assemble welding stations. Toyota is using Omniverse to build digital twins of their plants. Mercedes-Benz uses Omniverse to build, optimize, and plan assembly lines for new models. Remac and Lucid Motors use Omniverse to build digital stores from actual design data that faithfully represent their cars. BMW is using Omniverse to plan operations across nearly three dozen factories worldwide, and they are building a new EV factory completely in Omniverse two years before the physical plant opens. So something made in Unreal Engine can interact with something designed in CAD. A scene that was storyboarded in Photoshop can inform 3D models in SolidWorks, all with realistic graphics, physics, materials, and behaviors. And when one tool makes a massive breakthrough like Unreal Engine's MetaHuman program or their generative environment tools, every tool connected to the Omniverse can benefit from that, even if only indirectly. And even though Jensen Wong's presentation focused on the $3 trillion global automotive industry, it's clear that Nvidia's Omniverse is built for much more than that. Not just car factories, but all factories. Not just car design, but all product design. Not just road modeling and traffic simulation, but all modeling and simulation. And that's a future worth investing in. But there's one more huge breakthrough that you need to know about, so make sure to check out this episode next. And if you feel I've earned it, consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. That lets me know to put out more research like this. Either way, thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Ticker Symbol U. My name is Alex, reminding you that the best investment you can make is in you.